Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to Forza Horizon. I'm going to show you my technique of getting a lot of skill points without a whole lot of skill. So, skill points require... Whoops. Oh, that was dumb. Skill points require what they call skill chains. And the skill chains need to hit a certain level of points. Uh, they have to be 500,000 point chains to give you 10 skill points. Now, the easiest way for me to get... 500,000 point chains is to use a car that has a very high multiplier and that's actually a mastery skill on some cars and the Hunicorn is the king of that was times 8 as you can see here and then since I really don't have a lot of skill my trick to getting the points is to link my miserable drift chains by using wreckage now what's interesting about wrecking through stuff is Wrecking has, is considered a skill in the game. Therefore, as long as you sideswipe, drift, and wreck, you will generate a link uh, that continues the chain. So your chain won't stop. And when you're drifting and wrecking like this, the wreckages, the sideswipes also are considered high skill point um, skills. And it gives you a lot of points. So with the multiplication times 8, I only need about 62,000 points, or 63,000 points, to get 10 skill points. And just like that, in about a minute or so, each time, you are easily able to get 500,000 points. Now, I'm going to run past it, I think, because um, I have extra skills that I've been doing. So what happens is, when you're drifting like this, you can actually stop about 10,000 points early or 7 8,000 points early because you're going to keep gaining them. There's my 536,000 points and 10 skill points real quick. Now, what cars can do this? Um, there are quite a few cars in the game that can do this and the best ones are a lot of the ones I favorited. So, the Forza Edition Corvette times 7, the Lorian times 7, these two, this guy is for drag racing, so don't count him. Uh, Viper GTS ACR 1999, it's a uh, barn find, I, if I recall correctly, times six. This guy is times six as well. Times six, any of the Formula Drift cars, times seven. Um, number 25 Mustang RTR, I believe is times six, but let's, in fact, let's take a look at it real quick. I don't remember the exact multipliers for each of these, but these are all cars that can be built for the purpose of making skill chains very quickly. Um, here is the mastery. It's actually times seven. So the, the RTR is the times seven car as well. The mastery you want is this guy. Uh, stay on target. Drive it without fear. Your car skill multiplier go and go up to X. Seven is always the best. You definitely want that. Another one is you want the skill chains. If you're not as good at maintaining them, you want this one, which allows the skill chain to end later. That's a good and bad thing, uh, but generally, this is not a bad thing for most players. Um, another thing that's always good is if your skill multiplier builds faster when the skill song's being played, uh, that makes it much quicker to get to times 10 uh, and then earning those uh, skill points at only 50,000 points. You also should open up extra life because nothing worse than building a beautiful skill chain and then bumping into a tree and losing it. Uh, this is part of the reason I play on the highway and not out in the woods because if I hit a tree, I'm going to lose my skill chain. Or if I'm drifting on the road and I lose control, I go crash into a rock, I'm going to lose my skill chain. This will at least give you a second chance at it or allow you to collect your first chain, whatever it happens to be, so you don't lose it. So this is well worth the 25 points. Now, uh, beyond that, main reason for doing this, uh, for doing skill chains, is because... You want to be able to open up things like the skills on this car here. Uh, some cars gives you another car. It's a 50 point mastery though. So you need to earn a lot of points to open that up. For example, let's take a look at the Diablo here. 50 points, I get a Diablo GTR, which I think is also one of the best drag race cars now in um, Forza. So I definitely want that. I'm at 19 points, it costs 50, so I gotta earn some points. This car also happens to have a times seven multiplier, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can get that through not drifting necessarily. You can actually get it from slingshot, um, clean racing, 
and lucky escape type skill so you can drive this car on the highway fast in traffic and basically build up a nice set of skill chains um, so that's that's a pretty cool car as well now again the best car is the Hunicorn but um, any of the formula drift cars will automatically be a time seven car as well so formula drift car at anyone you want take them around drift them time seven car Ford RS 207 uh, Evolution Hoonigan time seven car this one I believe is a time six and this one I believe is a time seven so lots of options you want to look for one of these as soon as you get a hold of one whether it's the Mustang or anything you want to build it and start using it for the purpose of getting those skill points now the Forza edition Corvette has a really cool side effect um, as well that's another mastery and I need to mention it because what it does is it has a mastery that says your skill multiplier builds three times as fast. This is pretty cool because remember you want to get to time seven as quickly as possible and this guy builds it three times as quick as other cars. So what happens is let's take a look. Okay, let's turn the music off. Let's take a look. You can go up to time seven almost within 10 seconds or 20 seconds of doing some skill chain attempts as soon as you start doing it see it's already a 4 4.55 5 5.56 6.5 okay boom okay that's why I have that 25 point so I can do that once and not lose my chain so this guy goes to time 7 almost instantly so anytime you're using it for um, just honing around you automatically know even if you only made 10,000 points you're likely to already be at time seven and that's still worth 70,000 points. So you basically get to your max um, skill multiplier almost instantly. And that has that's its own benefit. Um, in times when you're not able to do full long-term skill chains, at least you're getting the quick multiplier so that you're using the time seven and not stuck at like time 2.5 when your chain ends. So this car has a great skill chain uh, used there and it's very helpful so that's right there the uh, Forza Corvette see again I'm at time 7 already so anything I earn at this point will be multiplied by 7 uh, whether it's 10,000 points or more it also happens to do the same exact uh, extra point stuff with side swipes wreckage and drifting so it's basically used just like the Hunicorn um, except it doesn't do time 8 it's only time 7 doesn't hurt it in any way so link in the chain once again uh, very easy to do if you just wreck through stuff and you'll never run out of chain linkage you can do the accolades like the 2.5 million skill chain accolade with a car like this on the highway doing exactly this okay and it'll it'll not run out as long as you don't crash into those big skills uh, big signposts and the bridge legs. I mean, those are the only two non-breakable items I found on the highway. This is why I like coming to the highway. Um, I can break anything and everything on both sides for the most part, and I can link my chains without much effort or skill. So that is the quick and easy skill chain skill point makers utilizing the highway. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions about what I'm doing here, uh, feel free to ask. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and like this kind of little tidbit stuff, um, subscribe. I'll be making more videos about all kinds of stuff in Forza as I discover them. So let me know overall how you like the game. And if you are in the game yourself, feel free to uh, friend me and maybe we can play together. And as always, Thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.